Hello guys, this is Wunderbit Trading and we carry on with our weekly Bitcoin and Ethereum price analysis. We skipped the week, but this time we're fully on straight into our charts. As usual, in front of you, you can see the four different uh, BTC price charts. The one on the top left is the CME futures, the one on the top right is the BTC dominance, and the two at the bottom are different uh, price charts from different exchanges. The one on the left is Bitstamp, the one on the right is Binance. So starting from the weekly review, what we can see is um, that currently we're at the crucial crossroads and the levels of supports from four different uh, charts. Uh, let's switch on the um, drawings and analysis from the previous weeks and go to the daily. Um, and we'll start with the BTC uh, futures. So over here we can see that we um, dipped below uh, the 50 MA um, yesterday and um, the price is currently trying to uh, regain what is lost um, over Sunday session and uh, at the same time trying to hold above the 50 MA. What we can see here is that obviously on the 26th of February there was a a uh, nice uh, drop below the 200, a very strong bearish candle, um, which is a nice signal towards the retest of uh, the uh, lower areas, especially taking into the account the impulse that we had starting from 3rd of Jan, so a very strong impulse um, up to 10,000 and then 10,500 even, and then now we're in the retracement of that impulse. Uh, we already covered the 50% uh, uh, retracement uh, based on the Fibonacci retracement tool. However, there is still an opportunity to go even further and it seems like a nice spot over here to stay in a consolidation for a while. So what we actually expect in here is um, a retest of the 200 MA now as a resistance. So it's going to be over here at 9,100. This is exactly the level um, where the nice and strong resistance now holds, um, not on the 200 MA, but also the uh, horizontal line. And then we can dip further towards the 61% uh, of Fibonacci retracement uh, and stay here for some time. Uh, you can see that the volume is uh, not that great in terms of the uh, actual dump. Um, so we can see that nobody was buying back here heavily. So we might assume that um, the further uh, downward movement of the price uh, will show a more suitable price for um, whales to, to pick up on volume. Let's go to the 4-hour chart over here. Uh, what we can see is the formation of the so-called uh, golden cross, but it's on, on a four hour time frame. So the 50 MA is crossing below the 200 MA. Um, at this point, we uh, again need to recheck this cross. So the price should increase throughout this week and then a further retracement down would be actually suitable. Let's go to the um, dominance uh, chart. Uh, starting from the weekly again. Um, you can see here that uh, during the, not the previous week, but the one before that, we're drawing that this was a crucial area, um, this uh, yellow zone between the 64 um, and 66% um, of BTC dominance. Um, we broke below it, we're currently retesting it. We should uh, go even to the point of 200 MA uh, as a retest and then a further down towards the bottom of this upward channel and this upward channel where the BTC was uh, dominating the, the altcoins. Uh, so far we can see that the dominance is decreasing and will come to a crucial point probably mid-April uh, to see the further development either the altcoins will start pumping up uh, while the BTC will be lagging behind um, in terms of the percentage growth. Or we can see the further dump of the BTC dominance um, due to the upcoming, let's call it an altcoin season. The long-term uh, trading chart, as we can see it here, this is the weekly one again, uh, we are bouncing right now 
uh, on the support of the 50 MA, so we touched it once, we now rebalancing from it starting of this week. So the previous week was uh, a very heavy um, depreciation of the price. Let's go to the daily chart and see what's happening on the daily chart. So on the daily, uh, you can see that we broke below the 200. We are retesting it right now. Uh, and if we will not be able to go above it and hold above it with a nice volume, which at this time uh, it doesn't seem possible, then what we should expect is a further move down towards the certain areas of definitely the 61% based on the Fibonacci retracement. So this will be the first crucial uh, level of support. And at the same time, the price of this will be 8,200. So somewhere around here, we can also see that uh, previously the accumulation zones were in the same um, areas. So let's me put it on the graph. So yeah, we can see that if the price is going to be uh, going below the 8,400 and stay there, then we'll enter another accumulation phase where we can see several uh, horizontal channels. Uh, the nearest one is between 8,400 and 7,700. And I believe that this is where the most of the uh, positions will be accumulated. We'll see based on the volume how it's going to um, uh, actually develop. But at the current stage, you can see that we did not reach the downward channel starting from the previous top, uh, which was in 2018. So we haven't reached that top yet. Um, and the price uh, started its retracement earlier. Uh, we can also see that uh, we are currently rechecking the 200 as a resistance right now. And the um, conclusion is that we are probably going to go down even further. So we might stay in a consolidation for a week and then start the uh, further depreciation to the um, bottom of that horizontal channel, which is 7,700. This is the, the maximum drop that um, I would say I expect. Um, if it will go in even beyond that, uh, this will be uh, quite uh, quite an interesting uh, scenario. However, dropping the price to the level of 7,700 will be enough to remove all the um, stops uh, for long positions. So uh, we would probably see something like a huge dip and then going up straight away but this will occur after the accumulation phase so if we'll stay here for about a week or two this will uh, and the volume will start picking up at least uh, when we're going to reach the the bottom of that horizontal channel then we might say that this is an accumulation phase um, and this can hold for for one week or two weeks or probably even further Okay, let's go to the uh, Binance exchange right now. This is uh, where we trade and this is our short term predictions over here. So we'll go straight to the four hour charts. What we can see here is that our previous analysis um, nicely lay out how the price actually moved. Uh, we can see that this cross already happened. The, the um, that cross uh, where the 50 MA is crossing below the 200 MA. Uh, we can see the most important thing is that at th those regions, we can see the nice volumes uh, spiking. Um, so the price of around 8,500. Um, and at the same time, we can see the divergence between the RSI indicator, which is very strong over here, and the price. Um, which means that uh, in the short term, we should see the increase of the price probably towards the 50 MA which will be the first stopping line um, it's not a very huge uh, amount of profit which can be gained on this trade and this is um, not a very secure trade based on the idea that all the technical indicators are showing that we are in a short-term downward trend you can even draw a downward trend over here so definitely this will be the first line of it and then identifying the second, but we haven't find the mm, lower high yet. So uh, let's put it uh, based on the idea that the 50 MA will act as a resistance. So somewhere over here will be the next uh, trend line within the uh, larger downward trend. So um, 
We'll see, maybe we can form a double bottom over here, maybe we'll stay in a consolidation area, but this will be counted towards the double bottom. Um, we'll closely monitor the uh, volume, because as soon as we reach the second and third time, the same level of um, 8,500, then we might see uh, some uh, events developing. So let's closely monitor the price during this week and it will tell us and uh, guide us on our trading. Let's go to Ethereum right now. So what happened with Ethereum? Um, we're starting from the daily. Uh, you can see that again, our previous analysis, we said that, that around this area, there will be a crucial point at which we will we'll see whether the Ethereum will go down or rebounds back to form a second high. Um, but it didn't, it broke straight into this channel and it seems like we are aiming to reach the um, bottom or that upward channel, which is a nice retracement. Um, let's look at the four hour chart. Um, exactly here, uh, is, this is a very similar uh, of what's actually happened to, to Bitcoin. So we can see that the price uh, dipped very heavily below the 200 domain, now it's uh, around the same area, we will retest this as a, a resistance level. So somewhere over here where we'll see again another cross between the 50 MA and the 200. And the price uh, should probably go down after that point to reach here the bottom of that channel and this should happen within that week. Again, at this point where we'll be rechecking um, the upward uh, channel, the price there are two options. The price can go up and start slowly increasing or could go down to the next level of support, which is around $200. Um, dollars. Okay, guys, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel to stay tuned with our weekly updates on the BTC and Ethereum prices and subscribe to our Telegram channel to stay tuned with our daily reviews. And best of luck with your trading.